Okay, so this is the same reaction as in the last two examples, but here we're being asked to calculate what the half-life of the reaction is. And you can get half-life from the integrated rate law, right? It would be the time that it takes for the concentration to drop in half. So you could put 0.1 molar in as your initial, and then you could put 0.05 molar, half of that in for the final. But the easiest way to deal with finding half-life is to use the equation that we have specifically for half-life. So half-life equals natural log of 2 over the rate constant. Natural log of 2 is 0.693, and the rate constant here was given as may have 6 seconds to the negative 1. So when we get a final answer for this, we get 110,000 seconds for our half-life. Since this was 1 over seconds and it's on the bottom, that's like saying 1 over 1 over seconds. So our final units are going to be seconds. And this question just asked what the half-life was. It didn't specify the units. So if I didn't specify the units, you could leave it as seconds. Um, but frequently we quote half-life in days. If you go ahead and convert this, that would be 1 minute over 60 seconds. And for every 1 hour, you have 60 minutes. And then for every 1 day, we have roughly 24 hours, right? So seconds and seconds, minutes and minutes, hours and hours. And so here you're going to get an answer with a final unit in terms of days.